And we want to go back to meteorologist Carrie Hall, who has a beautiful weather picture behind her, but we have some breezy conditions we'll see later today. Yeah, Chris, I've been keeping an eye on this flag on top of the building here in San Francisco that it's really waving quickly in all of these high winds that we've seen. And so as those winds continue to pick up, we're also feeling that not only in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but it's really coming down to the surface. And so now we have these wind advisories in effect for pretty much everywhere across the Bay Area, except for Santa Clara County, where we do have those mountains, those hills on either side of us. And that's kind of sheltering us from some of those higher wind gusts, but a lot of those winds picking up for the Santa Cruz Mountains, parts of the East Bay, and especially the North Bay, where we haven't even reached the peak of this wind event, and we're starting to see those winds at about 30 to 40 miles per hour in parts of the North Bay. Notice these areas in red. That's the coastal ranges from Marin County and parts of Sonoma County. Over around Mount uh, St. Helena, we're seeing some of those higher wind gusts in the Hillsburg Hills, and so this is where we could possibly see winds gusting up to 70 miles miles per hour and those winds are already starting to pick up, especially in the North Bay. Notice these areas where we have some red and purple. That's where we will have those higher winds going into this afternoon into the evening. But it looks like our winds will peak around 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight and then gradually start to calm down as we go into early tomorrow morning. We should wake up to some quieter conditions, but it may be a rough night for people who live in and near the hills where you have those winds just roaring through as we go into tonight. So this is what we're expecting. The, the winds continue to increase today. Some of those peak wind gusts on tonight and then with once again, those highest wind gusts will reach 70 miles per hour. With a wind event like this and usually in the late summer, early fall, we have concerns about the fire danger, but this is not one of those cases because the vegetation has had a lot of moisture and hopefully we don't see any issues like that. But you do want to make sure that everything around your home is is prepared for these high winds as our temperatures head for the upper 60s today. This is uh, going to be a very mild day. And then as we go into the next several days, we see temperatures like this. This is what's been making headlines. Extremely cold air for much of the rest of the country that we don't have to deal with. So I'll take these winds and it does stay dry as we go into the weekend. And we're also doing still pretty good on the Sierra snowpack at 111% of normal. And we'll still see these dry conditions. So unfortunately, that snowpack will be going down, but we do have more sunshine in the forecast through next week with highs in the lower 60s. Chris?